you don't have the money problem. You have the problem with the speed, how fast you are making money, and how fast you are making money has everything to do with your mindset, with your beliefs around money, and certain beliefs around money. They're formed when you were a child, and the way you can break down those beliefs is、uh, first of all reframing those beliefs. It's not about just watching a video about money mindset. It's not about subscribing to BS. Oh, it's just ninety percent. Mindset and only ten percent strategy. It's BS. Let me just say that it's BS、uh, created by life coaches so you can buy their coaching programs. No, these are two pillars. Like there is a strategy, there is a mindset. Without the right strategy, I don't care how much、uh, you manifest, how much、uh, you meditate, how much you pray. With that. Actions without strategic actions, step by step actions, nothing will happen. Like you can go for a walk, breathe your brains out, but if you do don't do the work, other than just breathing, praying, and hoping that money will come, money won't come. Period. And also, if you don't believe that you deserve to make money, that you believe that money is bad, that you believe that just because you're making more, somebody is making less, just because you believe that pe- people, wealthy people, are evil, just because you believe that somebody, just because somebody is wealthy, somebody is poor, that will stop you in your tracks, or you will set the numbers low. Or you will sabotage yourself on the way to success. You can have all the strategy, you will do the, all the work, but one or the other will will hinder you, will stop you in your tracks. And today we're gonna address the like the money mindset. And like I said at the beginning, it's not it's not just the mindset; it's the strategy as well. But before you get your mind right about the money, before you get your mind right about the money, money won't come. Or money will come. They will come slow. They will come slow and little, little by little, step by step. We're gonna break all of that. So, like the first belief that I want to address is that just because you somebody is making more, just because somebody is wealthy, somebody else is poor, it is nonsense. Let me just say that it is nonsense. And I'm not talking about corrupt organizations that take advantage of people, scammers, you name it. Like there's like there's a lot of evil in the world. But also, I know a lot of purpose-driven entrepreneurs who are making money, who are making millions, who are building business to build kingdom on earth, who are building a business to support a politician to、uh, to promote change, who are building their business f- to close the wealth gap. Who are building the business to make the the difference in the world? Who are building the business? So,、um, black entrepreneurs, Latino entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs, LGBTQI entrepreneurs can prosper, and those communities can close the wealth gap. That that is absolutely true. And just because those entrepreneurs make more money, it doesn't mean somebody else will make less. Somebody else will make less because either they don't have the skill, either or. They don't like. They don't have the strategy, or they simply like they 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 are simply unaware that there is something else that they can do so, so they can make money. And I submit to you the fastest me and the fastest way to make money is through entrepreneurship. And like this is where you you don't set the limits, right? It, I'm not saying that it will happen overnight because like, entrepreneurship is not glorious path. It takes time, but. Like the, this is the path where you, nobody, like nobody tells you how much you're gonna make. Nobody tells you how much you make per hour. Nobody tells you how much you're gonna make per project. You set your own prices and you, and then you,、uh, you find your market. Uh, fit. Just because you make more doesn't mean that somebody else will make less because you are making more. This episode is sponsored by my private business mentorship program, Heart and Profit Mentorship Program.、Uh, to find out more,、uh, go to the description or show notes for this episode. Find the link to schedule a call, fill out the form, and send me a DM so I can tell you more about the program, or just send me a DM on LinkedIn or Instagram and let's chat. Okay, back to the show. Making more money. 
can be liberating for so many people. Making more money can be、uh, liberating, and also it can be a tool to、uh, achieve equality and equity as well. And like I, I submit to you that one of the paths you can do is through building your own business. Even if like, listen, I like one of my previous careers that I made the most amount of money was tech career. In tech career, I was making I was making a lot of money, and I was making a lot of money rather fast, relatively fast, right? Relatively fast and steady. But even though it is a great career, there is a cap. There is a cap. There is a certain cap that I can't like I can't overturn. That like somebody somebody determines that price how much I'm going to make. And that, like, this is like this is the first thing. Another limiting belief: do not be controlled by the money. Do not be controlled by the money. This is what I mean by that. And I really want to break it down. And I think I'm going to make a separate videos about a, a separate video about that. So don't be controlled by the money. What I mean by that: don't wait until you have the money to do the thing that you desire to do. A lot of people think. When I have money, I will. When I have money, I will hire a coach. Well, when, when I have clients, I will do X, Y, and Z. When I have money, I move to another country. Let me, let me, let me tell you something.、Um, when I was younger,、um, and I didn't make a lot of money, and I was、uh, in college, and I, I wanted, I wanted to make more money, and I understood that the way I can make money, I, I, I have to be in a circle of certain people. How I can be in a certain, or, 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 in a circle of certain people, I can go to places where those people hang out. So, where can I start? I can start with something entry level that, like everybody, can have access to. For example, there is a hotel where people gather around and for conferences. So, what I can do, even though I may not be able to afford a ticket for a conference, I can afford a cup of coffee from the cafeteria in that hotel. So I can be in environment. So my body can, I can feel the feeling how it feels to be in that environment. Another example,、uh, back in Moscow, I was a part of the church, and they were they would do、um, gala or gala、uh, with very influential people. This is how I met the ambassador of the United States, by the way, and this is how I met a lot of influential international entrepreneurs, international leaders, international speakers,、um, through those events. I was I I figured out how to be in a room with the right people. Did I have the money to invest, to donate, to whatever it means? No, but. I was a part of that church, and that church sponsored or, like, rather,、um, facilitated that gala, and I was just a part of that equation. Another thing,、um, when it comes to actually taking steps, my immigration to the United States, I did not have the money to move and stay in the United States, but I knew. That I had, I just had to do that. I don't know, call it insanity, call it immaturity, call it whatever you want to call it, but I just knew I had to do that, and I did. But if I didn't do that, my life would look quite different right now, quite different right now. And back home, listen, back home,、um, here's what happened. I was like, I am.、Um, I am a Baptist, Baptist Pentecostal. This is nor like this is the、um, church that I normally go to, either Pentecostal church or Baptist. I wish they would reconcile or not reconcile, but I wish something in between, right? Like non-denominational. Let's call them that, like that. But way back in Moscow, way back in Russia, 
they it, the culture believes that it is a cult. And because you are not subscribing to the mainstream religion, which is Russian Orthodox Church, you are the outsider. You are a member. You are a cult member. And because you are a cult member, it's not safe to employ you as a psychologist. And I was a psychologist. I was working as a clinical psychologist. And in fact, I was working with adults and children. And not only that, it is not safe. And it's not safe for you to be around children because you are a cult member. Not only that, I'm a member of LGBTQAI community. I gay person cannot teach kids like back then. Like, you know what I mean? And like the law, the um, the situation, the culture, it was so like, it was so heavy. If I didn't do it, if I didn't bet on myself, I'm like, you know what? At least I won't be there. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe I will maybe I will be in a worse situation, but at least I won't be in that situation because that was absolutely not acceptable. And I bet and I bet on myself. And I and I and I was perfectly comfortable with the discomfort. The same thing happened when I started my business. And by the way, I will be absolutely transparent with you. It's a little bit harder for me to trust myself and trust the process with my business than with my immigration. It was so much easier for me to move from one country to another without visa, without money, without any outside evidence that it will work out than uh, starting my business when I have citizenship, when I have uh, all legal requirements to run my business. I have expertise, I have testimonials, I have social proof, and I'm still battling. I'm still battling with myself and with, my, and with, with the trust, with trusting God, with trusting the process, like real talk. But it is required to take action of faith to make a uh, calculation calculated risk to invest in yourself me moving to another country me moving to the united states it was a calculated risk i mean it could have turned out horribly i mean another like another country my my process with my citizen my with my citizenship and with my green card and with my asylum case could have been totally overturned and it could have been a disaster could have been but it wasn't the same thing with my business when i was laid off i decided to bet on myself and bet on my business and reinvest in my bet in myself reinvest in working with a mentor because listen entrepreneurship that shit is hard that shit is hard and i don't want to do it alone I hired private mentor right away because I, I knew like my group coaching program did not give me the results that I wanted. It was like, it was a good program and the provider was a good provi provider, but like I did not get sales, okay? I did not get money, like, because at that point, I need sales. And uh, yes, the strategies, the lessons, everything was great. But it was one size fits all and, you know, like everything is so generic. Everything is so like just make pretty like in profile, just like do like a content pillar post and did, it did not work for me until I start working with a mentor. And that mentor also led me to another mentor for another group coaching program that was actually more beneficial for me. And... Who, like, the, like that mentor was actually more aligned with me than my previous mentor. So like, but I had to reinvest in myself. Investing $9,000 when I just had few clients and I had to put it on the credit card and I don't know how to pay that. This is not being controlled by the money. This is not being controlled by the money. Because as like, as long as you are controlled by the money, as long as you are controlled by the money, uh, you won't get what you want because you will never have enough money. And this is the mindset. You can be either in the gain, you will celebrate your victories, or you can be in the gap. There's never enough. 
well, I don't have enough clients. My deal is not closing. I don't know what's going to happen with my business partner. I don't know if I if I'm making enough money. Listen, the more more money is not coming. Let's just put it to rest. Like you will like more more is not happening. Another client will not come. More money won't come out of thin air. Okay, just put that to rest. Because if you're hoping until you make more to make more, you will never make more. You will make more if you put together a calculated risk. Like, okay, this is my risk, and act out of faith. You act based on your faith and not your fear. Because when you let money to control you, you act out of fear. And when you let your faith guide you, you you act out of faith, and you are、uh, you are making calculated risk. To make strategic moves in your business, this is the difference. This is the difference, and I don't know what it looks like for you. Maybe it's just go to a fancy hotel cafeteria and drink seven dollar cappuccino at the lobby once a week, so you can be in that environment. Maybe it is betting on yourself and say, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna just invest in the coach. I want to just invest in the mentor and see what happens. Because if nothing, because if I'm not gonna do anything, if I'm just waiting for another client who is not coming anyway, because I don't know how to attract client, or because I'm 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 so I'm so getting stuck in my own crap. Nothing will change. This is what I mean: not be controlled by the money. By the way. I had a friend, and we we got in a huge fight over that. I said, like, I told him, like, don't be controlled by the money. Like, okay, you want to move to another another city, move to another city. Don't be controlled by the money. And he got mad at me, like, what do you mean by that? My mom was working like a dog to afford like just basic needs. We were always controlled by the money. What do you mean by that? Not be controlled by the money. I am. We all controlled by the money. Without money, we won't be able to do that. Like, I mean, you're absolutely right. Without money, it's it's rather hard to make moves and have freedom, but. But you cannot determine the money as a determine as, as a determining factor. When I was moving from one state to another, for example, I was、uh, the first city in the in the United States that I moved to was Chicago, and at the time I was going through a very very rough time in my family, in my relationship, and I understood that in order to get out of it. I need to change the environment for my family, and for that, I needed to move to Florida. I did not have the money to move to Florida. I was working as a case manager, and、uh, to move to Florida, it was a disaster. So I borrowed the money. I found the way to borrow the money on the personal loan. I borrowed five thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, or nine thousand dollars. I don't remember right now, and it was enough for me to move to Florida to buy like a used car and enough.、Um, Enough cash flow to rent an apartment for a few months until I get a job, better job, and better and, and bought better car, and, and the situation has improved. Don't be controlled by any money. And the last thing I want to say that money, like people say, money can't buy happiness, but I don't know. Have you heard that the lack of money made anybody happy? Listen, money won't make you happy. The lack of money won't make you happy. The happiness comes from within, and again, even when you're making money, you can either celebrate your success, or you can beat yourself up because you're not making more. It's kind of like going back,、uh, like don't be controlled by the money. Like I will make an investment when I might, when my client is coming, when the time is better, when my family is better, when like whatever it is, you know, like. Excuses, another excuse, like the same thing. Like you can be happy because you woke up today. You can be happy because you have enough bravery, because you're bold enough to build the business. Because guess what? The vast majority of people, they're like, it's not for them. 
they don't have the tenacity to build a business. A lot of entrepreneurs who started their business gave up on themselves and gave up on their business because it is hard and you have not. Celebrate that. And listen, if you are in this situation because choose your heart, choose choose your heart. If you're in this situation when you consciously aware and you understand that like you know what building a business is not for me i don't want to do it full time i'd rather find a job and build a side hustle because it is just better for me it is better for my nervous system and it's better for my family you can build a a million dollar side hustle if you don't want to do it full time and if you're honest about it like you're you are winning and when you have clarity you are winning You can be either beat yourself up because something is not working or you can celebrate your progress or you like, listen, the obstacle is the way when you realize, hey, my content sucks. Nothing attracts customers, period. Unqualified people book calls with me. Okay. Why? Oh, because I put my calendar link in the open. Hello, Eugene. What can I do? Well, well, first of all, I can do a little bit of work. I can go back and replace my calendar link in the open with my application link so I can gather some information from the people so I know who I'm talking to and if it makes sense for us to get on the call or not. I, I can do that. And guess what? Get people who are ready to talk to me on the phone or on the Zoom call, rather. I can do that. Or I can get upset and say, hey, like, yeah, people suck. My leads suck. My reads, like, every, like every, everything is not where I want it to be. Like, or I can celebrate. Like, at least I know what is not working. At least I have a number. Because when you have a number, you have a problem. Until you, have, uh, until you don't have a number, you don't have a problem. Period. When you when you have a, when you know when the problem is, when you know what is lacking, when you know your conversion rates, you know, like, do you know how many people I talk to on everyday basis, and they have no idea what their conversion rates uh, uh rate is? That's just alarming. Listen, I'm not gonna like. Uh, this is not a uh, conversion rates um video or podcast this is about you making money and this is about you making money mindset like fixing your mindset do yourself a favor after this podcast episode go and google how to calculate your conversion rate and calculate your conversion rate for everything's sake because like once you see that your conversion rate is at a certain number let's say it is one percent I mean, like it, it, like it doesn't feel good, but at least you know that you have one percent close rate, so you know what to work on. And if you, and if your close rate is like ten percent, ten fifteen percent, like listen, conversion rate is not your problem. At least you know the number. At least you know the number. So. Figure out the problem. Figure out the uh, figure out the problem. Because, like, listen, money won't make you happy. You will make you happy, whether you have money or not. But, like, but the lack of money won't bring you more happiness. The ability, like, the lack of ability and resources to send your child to school, to pay rent, to go to your favorite restaurant, to uh, pay for child care to pay for the education, to support your elderly parents who are not able to work anymore. That will not make you happy. I can guarantee that. But maybe making more money, bringing more money, bringing more prosperity into your business, that can make a mo- like that can make a needle a little bit closer to the, your happy place that you're looking for. Think about that. Listen, I have an invitation for you. Uh, my private mentorship is open. Book a call with me. The link is in the show notes. The link is in the uh, in description for this video. 
Again, I learned my lessons. It's a form. A lesson. It's a form. I want to make sure that it's a good fit for you. It's a good fit for me. That we that we're not wasting time. That like you are the person that I can help. And you filling out this form, you can make sure that I'm the mentor and that who can help you. So fill out the form. Schedule a call. Let's talk. All right. Until next time. Bye, y'all.